What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So I'm excited today because I have not gone fishing in a couple weeks and it feels good to be back. But today we are going to be fishing off the beach and the rocks to see if we can get on some snook, tarpon, jacks and all that good stuff, but mostly snook. Today I'm really focusing and trying to get on a really, really nice snook. I'm gonna be throwing the spool tag, flare hawks, and also the live targets. So we're gonna see if we can make something happen today. And I hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of today's video. So let's get right into it. And right now I'm throwing the uh, spool tech, so see if anything will munch this. Oh, oh man, what was that? Oh, something just killed my spool tech. Oh, something just smoked my spool tech. Oh my goodness, I don't know what was that. I couldn't really tell. What was that, only the second cast? Oh, he killed it. It didn't look that big. I don't know, it might have been a snook. I don't know, to me it kind of looked like a snook, but at the same time it could have been a jack. I couldn't really tell. I couldn't tell at all. I didn't really, couldn't really make out what that was. But So right now I'm throwing the uh, the gold digger spool tech right here. Uh, if I can get it. This one right here. And I was throwing right over there. And uh, he came after it. Trying to put down the live targets, try something different like the spool tech or the jig or something, you know? That gave me a little confidence boost. Just got done fishing the uh, spool tech and now I'm going to throw the live target croaker here. Cause now it's summertime, snook around the beach, they're, they're ready to spawn. I haven't caught anything on this, this croaker yet. So we're gonna see if we can get something on it today. Hopefully it's a nice snook. Oh my gosh, no! That was a big snook. That was a monster. That was a monster. Yep. That was a, oh my gosh, dude. We know the croaker works. And uh, just lost uh, probably a overslot fish. Wow. That's dumb. All right, snooker here for sure. Man, I hook set into that thing, that thing did not move. He jumped and he shook it. That's that's exactly what happened. He just jumped and shook it. Zero for two on snook so far. Oh, got one. There it is. Hit it right there. All right, we got our first snook of the day, but it's a micro. Tiny guy hit the croaker. That's actually my first snook on the croaker. Come on, come on, relax. This is actually my first snook on the croaker. 
and uh, he's a micro. Got the skunk out for the day and uh, not the size of snook we're looking for. I didn't even know he was on there. I was reeling and I thought I was hung up on weeds and then I started pulling him back and started jumping. So what is up with me and Ked? I'm been, bro, on the, my new setup, nothing but dink snook. What is up with that though? Like for real, what is up with that? Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Wait, is it? Wait. Oh, yeah, it's decent. Oh. Oh, my gosh, dude. Dude, I am so done with today. And the same spot where I lost that overspot. Same, same exact. I'm in the same spot. I haven't moved. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Not a bad one, a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than the last one. All right guys, we're gonna release this guy. Just gonna give him a little toss in. Okay, so a little midday update for you guys. Uh, so far, I've hooked into five snook, landed two, so not too bad, but could be better. I did lose that one giant one that I'm uh, still kind of mad about. That was actually a really nice snook, but we're gonna continue fishing and hopefully we can get on some more fish. So stay tuned for the rest of today's video. Real quick before I continue fishing, I, I'm retying here. I wanted to show you guys a rig, the rig that I'm using uh, before I continue fishing. So I've got, if you watched my last video that I uploaded where I reviewed my setup, my new setup, I'm running 20 pound braid, Power Pro, and right now I'm running a 40 pound leader. But, so I recently watched uh, a video from Rad Reeling Fishing. He was fishing with uh, uh, Joshua from Salty Scales. And he had a rig that I wanted to give a try today and I've been using it today and it's been working out pretty good. And I could see why this actually makes sense uh, so the rig is basically, you're running a, your typical leader, whatever you're running. And then at the end of your leader, you're gonna run a heavier leader, like 60 or 80 pound. Right now I'm using 60. So you basically just tie up a uni knot to join the two, a double uni actually, to join these two, uh, two lines here. And you're gonna have a short piece that acts as a abrasion resistance uh, line for you for those bigger fish. So you could fish a lighter leader and you still have that abrasion resistance. So we just tied on that uh, 60 pound monofilament. Uh, yeah, so we tied our, um, we have our uni to uni knot right there and I'm gonna cut probably like a six inch piece and a little extra for tying on my, uh, my lure. But yeah, that's basically the concept of uh, what he was doing and shout out to him for uh, inspiring me to try it. And it's been working today because I've went, uh, so far I've gone two for five on snook and they seem to not really care about the line. They're, they're eating it as long as they're there. And I've been, I've been getting some really, really good hits. So far, this setup is holding up really, really nice. Really a, per, really a perfect setup for throwing these bigger swim baits like I'm throwing right now. And these, these snook are just destroying it. All right, guys, so I've been fishing for quite a long time now and I have not gotten a bite. Uh, so I don't know, I feel like, so I, I don't know what's going on. I feel like, I feel like the snook turned off after the tide switch. All right, last cast and I'm calling it. All right, that's it right there. So we're gonna end the video on this note and uh, I was really hoping we'd been able to hook into maybe some more snook, but what are you gonna do? That's snook fishing. So before we end the video, I'm gonna talk real quick about the live target croaker, but not here. I'm gonna go back into my room. I'm gonna film the part where I talk about this and basically the conditions about what happened today. So let's get right to that. See you guys. So we're back at the house 
and we are going to be talking about the live target croaker that I was fishing with today. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review of the croaker because I haven't used it and I haven't actually showcased it to you guys on my channel. So this time of year is actually a really nice time to be using the croaker on the beach because the snook are spawning off the beach and snook absolutely love eating croakers. So we're going to be talking about the live target croaker and let's get right into it. Okay, so these are the live target croaker lures that I've been using off the beach that you've uh, seen in the today's video. So I've actually thrown this bigger size croaker right here. Uh, I've thrown this one more often than the smaller one. And as you can see, uh, I actually, um, see if we can get a focus on right here. Um, right here, I actually glued it together because that big snook I lost that um, I hooked and he jumped and he spit it. He completely just tore it right here, so I used some of this Loctite Super Glue. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I did show this in my Live Target video, and if you guys haven't watched that, I'll make sure to go check it out where I talk about uh, the different Live Target lures. But this right here is the glue that I use to seal up my swim baits, my, especially the Live Targets, because they do get beat up uh, pretty often, and this basically preserves the life of the Live Target lure. So. Um, otherwise, I probably would get another hit, it would open up more, and then I wouldn't be able to use this thing. So, uh, this is the main size that I've been using. So, this right here is the, I believe this is the yellow croaker, and this right here is the Atlantic croaker. So, you can see the difference between the two right here. Uh, little different patterns, and this is the smaller one, and this is the bigger one. Uh, both of these will work effectively on the beach, but I, I noticed that I like throwing this size, because even though it's a bigger size swim bait, uh, these are typically the size of croakers that you're going to be throwing for those bigger snook off the beach. And one thing I know also noticed is I do get a lot of short strikes with this croaker. So what I've done is I add a, a size one uh, BMC hook right here at the bottom with a 30 pound split ring and that's been working pretty good and I've used that on all my other live targets as well if I need to add an extra hook. This croaker in particular, the smaller one, is okay with this because it's not top heavy. Now, this bigger croaker, what I've noticed, um, especially with the fish that I, I actually went two for five on snook, one thing I noticed is I was losing a lot of fish. And I think the reason why that was happening is because a lot of the weight of the lure is inside of this head right here of the croaker. And what was happening is the fish were shaking it, the lure's going like this, and they spit it out, and that's how I lost that, uh, that big one. But other than that, I think this cro th these croaker lures are very, very nice. The live target lures have never uh, let me down with like the, the action. The action is great on it, and uh, the tail moves a lot, and it's actually a, a very, very softer tail. So comparing the two uh, tails here, you can see that this one is a little bit stiffer, so it'll have a tighter swim, and this one has a bigger swim because it's a little bit softer. So uh, other than that, the lifelikeness of these lures, um, they just the fish love them and I was I was getting hits after hits So these lures have been working really really good for me And if you guys want to you know give it a shot They sell them at Bass Pro they sell them online you could get them anywhere online or anything like that But they are just been very very effective for me uh, so far since I've been using them on the beach Although I was throwing the croaker I also was throwing uh, my first hit of the day that I got for in today's video was on the spool tech. So this right here is the Gold Digger Spool Tech. I re actually recently bought this one. These are the newer Spool Techs. I'm gonna show you guys my other one. So when Spool Tech had originally come out with their first line of Spool Techs, this was the first one I had bought. They had them clearance out at Bass Pro, so I picked up one. And this is the older style of Spool Tech. Uh, as you can see, comparing it, um, it's a little bit different. You can see the top, they have Spool Tech, and the, the original one, they don't. So what I've noticed um, with the, the two spool techs, so this one, the, the old one has a longer leader, and this one has a shorter one. So I don't know what's up with that. I haven't fished spool tech that much, so I don't know if that really makes much of a difference. But uh, yeah, I did get one solid hit on the spool tech, and I think it was a snook, but I think it was really small. He kind of like just grabbed the back end of it, like that, and then uh, he he didn't have it in his mouth. But so. I definitely am going to be fishing these more often as you guys saw with my new setup that I had I'm going to be throwing these bigger swim baits more often uh, Shooting for those you know bigger snook and tarpon and stuff like that So that's what I was throwing today And I just wanted to show you guys what I was throwing because I got a lot of questions asking what I throw in any given day uh, Depending it also depends on the conditions that I'm in so 
every day is a little bit different. You just gotta go based on what uh, the conditions are and what they're feeding on. So, okay, so we're gonna end the video on that note. Uh, I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I did the same thing with my last video where I reviewed my spin fisher and I also included fishing content in it. And in this video, I fished and then I reviewed uh, some new lures that I've been trying out and you guys were able to see that. So I really hope this style of video is a little bit different compared to some of my traditional videos where I'm just fishing and I end the video like that. Uh, I, I like to talk about different things that I'm fishing with so that way you guys can go out and you can use the same types of lures and you can catch fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. I also want you guys to comment down below different types of lures that you guys use to catch different fish. I would really like to know and maybe I might try something new that maybe you guys recommend for me. So make sure you comment in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I will greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in that next video.